there in today's video we are going to see an amazing feature of our windows so this feature is not inbuilt to uh, inbuilt uh, in the windows computer but we need to install an application from the microsoft store in order to get the benefit of this feature now with the help of this application we will be able to describe the content that's present on our screen you might have probably heard about this application called as be my eyes which uh, actually con connects you with volunteers who can help you to navigate your day-to-day -day tasks so this happens on your phones and uh, recently microsoft has also launched be my ai within the be my eyes application which helps you to you know get scene descriptions and all of that stuff now that application has been integrated with, uh, that application has been added to our windows and we can install it if we want just go to the microsoft store search for be my eyes and click on the install button and that's all you will be having the application installed now you sign in with email enter your email id and password sign in with your email then verify your email and then you will be done let's open the application i'll just click on my start window start window search window press search B. box at b level one be my eyes app press here is my application i'll open it be my eyes be my eyes window describe my screen let's see the options here well, first we have described my screen that gives you a description of what is on your screen take picture using built-in camera this will take picture using your built-in camera of your laptop or, or your PC if it has a webcam. Describe picture from File Explorer. This will help you to describe picture from anywhere within your computer. Describe clipboard. Keyboard shortcut Alt plus Control plus L button. Key, describe keyboard short, clipboard which would enable you to get descriptions of any images that you might have copied on your clipboard. Be my AI tab selected one of two level one. This uh, here we have two tabs. One the first one is be my AI. If I right click right arrow. Settings tab two of two level one. Settings tab. The settings tab does not have many options. You can see if you want to. So there you have the privacy policy and all of that. And there is nothing much to change there. Be my AI tab. Describe my screen. Keyboard. Now after opening the application, you could go to any place on your computer and have your screen described um, so i will open a new excel file start window e excel app e unknown excel home group space sheet one table a one now i am in my excel and i am going to just press alt control h to get the screen description now you this will only work when your application is open in the background this is not going to work like like you haven't opened the application and you just try to use the shortcut then it's not going to work in case if you are unable to remember the shortcut all you have to do is first open the application to uh, of which you want or the place of, of which you want to see of the place where you want the description open that particular app or image or whatever and then press alt plus tab till you find be my eyes then press describe screen be my eyes row one be my eyes be my eyes when take picture describe my screen Keep press this describe my screen after each option it always announces the keyboard shortcut let's hear it describe my screen Keyboard shortcut Alt plus Control plus H. Alt plus Control plus H. This is our keyboard shortcut. Book one. Book one. Now I will directly. I generally prefer to use this option. Alt plus Control plus H. Be my eyes. Be my eyes window. Be my. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. We have the image to shows a blank Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The toolbar at the top includes options such as file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and help. The home tab is currently selected, displaying options for clipboard actions like cut, copy, and paste, as well as font settings, alignment, number formatting, and cell styles. The spreadsheet itself is empty, 
with columns labeled for me to Z and rows numbered from 1 to 24 visible. The autosave feature is turned off. Now we could click our tab key. Back button. And this is the back button. This would take us back to the Be My Eyes application. Be My AI tab selected one of two list. Your image one of two. Question to ask the AI edit blank. Now you could also ask AI a question that you want to. Uh, so and then click send. So your question would be sent. So let's try asking it a question. So D D S T A T E state spit H O dub how A A space C E L cell a F O E X C E L Excel space L O O K S state how a cell of Excel looks. Let's see what the answer is. Looks. Send message button. Okay, this is a really silly question because I'm showing it for the sake of demonstration. But you could ask it a complex question and it would try to answer as best it can. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. An Excel cell is a rectangular box in the spreadsheet grid where a row and a column intersect. Each cell can contain data such as text, numbers, or formulas. Cells are identified by their column letter and row number, such as A1, B2, etc. A cell has a border and can be selected by clicking on it, which highlights the cell and allows you to enter or edit data. The active cell is usually outlined with a thicker border. So this was its answer. Okay, now let's go back. Back button. Describe my screen. Keyboard shortcut Alt plus Control plus. So now we saw it describing our screen. Let's try asking it to describe an image from our file explorer. Are you sure you want to close the app? Yes. Cancel button. Describe my screen. Keyboard sh d folder view list. W. Web series. Web series. File explorer. Items v I. Ice cream two of nine. Date modify. Type edit JPG file. Date ice cream two of nine. Not so se selected. So I'll go to my be my eyes. Be my eyes row one column two two of three. Be my eyes. Be my eyes window. Disc take picture using built in camera. Describe picture from file explorer. So we'll click on this describe picture from file explorer. You could again use the keyboard shortcut. I don't know whether this keyboard shortcut works or not because some keyboard shortcuts do not work in certain computers. I have seen people whose keyboard shortcut this alt control edge does not work but for me it works. So I'm going to just click enter. Be my AI tab select open dialog. Now I am going to select a file over here. So the name of my file is ice cream and it is showing an image of ice cream. See. And I am going to click enter after selecting the file. Be my eyes. Be my eyes window. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. The image shows four ice cream cones placed in a wooden holder. Each cone has a different flavor of ice cream. From left to right. The flavors appear to be vanilla, strawberry, cookies, and cream, and chocolate. The cones are waffle style, and the background is a soft, blurred mix of green and white, giving a fresh and inviting look. There is also a small pitcher and a wooden handled scoop in the background, along with a few scattered sprinkles on the surface. And again we could ask it a question if we want to. Back button. And but I'm going to click back. Describe my screen. Keyboard shortcut. Now let's try asking it to describe an image on our clipboard. So I'm going to search for an image. Start pin list. New tab. Purse I. Bing search M A G E S images of F of C A T. Images of cat. Loading page. Collapsed. Images of cat. Sir. Loading complete. Region. Clickable banner landmark back to Bing's search landmark search but account reward search filter nap copilot link search link current page link copilot link images loading loading page images of cat search images loading complete various cats graphic link search for various cats 
so this is one image of a cat let's try copying it to our clipboard open link in new tab open Voice link in new window w open link in open link save link as copy link 06 of 10 i'm going to copy this image images of cat search images document and now let's try asking be my eyes to describe it be my eyes row one call be my take picture using built-in describe picture from file exp describe clipboard keyboard shortcut alt plus control plus l button let's try this i'll click enter be my ai tab selected one of two level one back button settings tab back button settings tab two of two level back button describe my screen take describe picture describe something went wrong dialog okay button just describe my screen take picture describe describe clipboard be my ai tab selected one of two level one okay so let's see what is going wrong device lock okay so there is some problem with the clipboard thing uh the place where we have to you know where where our clipboard gets described for us so this problem is specifically with me and i have seen others apply this feature on their devices so you can try it out and it is going to work very well and there was one thing okay guys so this is me coming back to you while editing the video and this clip has been added uh, within this video in the middle so regarding the clipboard thing i have decided to add the clip of a person who has used this feature and whose uh, this feature is working so i'm going to use their video for the demo of the clipboard feature so here is the clip for you Seven. all right let's press enter on this fluffy dog dash google search dog. let's go back to be my eyes be my eyes row one be my eyes be my eyes window describe my screen left paren shortcut can let's tap to that describe from clipboard option take picture describe picture describe clipboard left paren and let's press enter be my ai please wait be my ai is writing a message the image shows a fluffy white dog walking towards the camera on a grassy lawn the dog has a thick coat of fur a bushy tail and is panting with its tongue hanging out in the background there are green plants with long narrow leaves the dog appears to be happy and energetic all right so and there was one thing left that was the thing where we had to scan our uh, you know where we could take a photo from our inbuilt camera and do uh, and get a description of that so i've tried that out and that works well on my pc as well so it will work on yours and that is how it works you just have to click a photo and then it uh, you'll get a description just like you get the description of others and then you can ask it questions and all of that stuff so that guys is it for the video and the thing is that whenever you are asking a, a question and you get the answer then you ask a follow up question and uh, you get your an you get your answer when you are in that particular list you can use your arrow keys to navigate between all of the questions that you might have asked previously uh, from the time when you when you click the image till the last question that you have asked so you can navigate through all of them through your arrow keys so that guys is it for today's video and I hope that you you will find this feature useful. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hi everyone. If you like my video, so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any doubt, then you can write it in the comments section down below. I will try to answer it soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.